Time is 8.51 a.m. Eastern Standard, 9.29.2014. Our methodology has identified with, and we have a high probability trade set up to the downside at 19.61 for the preferred entry, which has been hit on increased volume. And we are now clear across the board to be short. I've taken this trade short under the pretense that volume will come in and the prices will continue to move to the downside. If that doesn't happen, this will be nothing more than a glorified shakeout before prices will turn back around. Our near contract month, December 2014, on the E-minis, our primary market initial target already hit at 1959.75 after the preferred end at 61 has been hit. Next target to the downside becomes 58.75. There's a quick profit you can take off the board right now between 61 and 59.75 for a quick point and a quarter. How's that for a fast profit this morning? Not bad at all. Right? Now, if prices remain where they are right now, and both money flow indicators, as they are currently configured, continue to tell us that we are clear to be short, prices will continue to trade to the downside. And as you can see, they are. Target 58.75, hit. Next target 58. There you go. You can take that off the board right now after getting in at 61 for a full two-point profit. Take it. I'm out. I got that at 58 and 25 on the open right here, people. That's 58.25 on the open at 8.54 to lock it in. Now, long-term holders, you remain clear to be short. An additional in could be had right below 58 at 57.75 on an additional leg to the downside. All indicators remain clear. We are at, we are at as we speak, the major floor level here at 58.50, and that's why I got out when I did. A new test below 58, 58.50, okay? For those of you that would be back in this trade, you have another target at 56.75 to the downside. That's 56.75 to the downside, and below that, you're way down to just below 54. Copy that. Market now trading MTM, 1957.75, that's 57.75. Long-term holders, you remain clear to be short. Additional leg identified with and taken by myself at the 58 level. Under the pretense that prices may continue to trade to the downside. And now I'm looking to get right back out if I don't get the follow through. And I don't. I do not have the follow through. So I'm out of 58.25 and gave back a quarter on the original out. And price is now trading 58.25. Holding 58.25, holding 58.25. And it looks like that could be it for the moment as prices have found superior support at the 1958.50 15 minute level that we identified earlier on in our preliminary analysis within the live trading room here today, 8.55 a.m. now, September 29th, 2014. There you have it. This is the way 
to identify with and take the high probability trade setups, the market bias being to the downside, and lock in a substantial profit for me. And at 61, at 58, 20, not 61. I'm looking at the sheet I got to fill at 59. Yeah. It's 59 and 75. Still not bad. So for today, 59.75 on the end. And the out at 58.25 left me a point and a half. Point and a half times $50 for every full point move in this market is a $75 gain per contract times my minimum 20 contracts traded brings me in $1,500 this morning. This is Jeff Killian, a Chief Market Strategist for the InsideTechnician.com and this live trading room for more information on how to lock in these trades and continue to mitigate the risk in real time. You can contact us through the InsideTechnician.com and fill out the form within our live trading room blog area. Another possibility to the downside, an additional move, volume coming in, clear to be short again here at the 1957 and 25 level here for the additional leg to the downside people. The next move, anticipated price profit target becomes 1954, that is 1954 people. CMF and MFI remain clear to be short, current configuration out of the CMF, and a gear, clear. Smart money, laying out the path for the additional move to the downside, the higher probabilities of reaching an incredible target. Now, closer to 54. Before we get ahead of ourselves here, let's take a good look at what we have on a 15-minute chart here. A level located at 56 as well. Okay, and we're real close to that. So this 56 level now, drawn from the 15-minute chart, laid out onto the one-minute chart, would be an area where one would consider to be out for those of you that got back in here at this point on the increased volume, right? A lot of contracts traded for this time of day. Incredible. Look at all this. Look at this. That's a lot. That is certainly a lot for the time of day. We're talking about 6854, 83.99, 68.14. 6690 and look at the last of it 7203 lots on a 15 minute chart there you have the current support level located below the superior floor at 5850 at 57 and 50 located just a tick short of 1956 here there we go Now, the fact of the matter is that both MFI and CMF have a minor loss in momentum because of the new 15-minute bar being open with some odd 14 minutes and 30 seconds left within it. However, that does not mean that we cannot continue to be short people. The 56 level is now being hit. That's an excellent additional profit that can be taken off the table, right, that we talked about earlier based on a 15-minute level. And getting right through 56, continue to be short and looking to get down to the 54 level. Total amount of contracts traded on the last closed out one minute bar, 4,800. And we just might get there. We just might get there. 
Tape is still rolling. 54, 50, 53, 75. 15 minute chart has a level laid out at 54.50. Remember, people, you've already hit the 56 level. For those of you that never, ever got out of this trade, long term holders, that is an excellent AM profit more than anybody could have asked for. Fifty four fifty. Fifteen minute level now extra played it over into the one minute chart. Okay, now prices are trading up. No need to stay in this trade any longer whatsoever, people. Not yet. Not until you get back down through fifty six. With some increased volume, you can you can take that off the table at 56. You still got a chance. No need to get greedy. If you were in back at 1961 and, and you're out at 56, you're talking about five full points from here all the way down to here. Five points times $50 is a $250 contract gain. Times the recommended five contracts is how much today? It's 1,000. Excuse me. Five points times $50 every full point move is a $250 gain per contract times five contracts traded brought you in $1,250 today. I know only trading five contracts. A lot of brokers, houses, they're only looking for $400 to control every contract, maybe 500 right? Like I said, there was no need to stay in this trade. Now prices are trading back up. So we're going to let this serve as a, as a prime example of where to get in and where as I got out, out looking to lock in the profits before prices can turn back around and you give any real money back. Price already traded up back almost a point since I recommended, uh, you know, talked about myself getting out. So there you have it. Highly profitable trading this morning, getting in, getting out at a predetermined price profit target, locking in the profits once again before prices can turn back around and you're given a lot of money back. I don't think, Adrian, are you there? I don't think we could have asked for a better example this morning, could we? Not at all, Jeff, not at all. Wow. How many people in this room traded this short move and made money this morning. Can I see a raise of hands? KW Dunn. I don't know you, so until I probably talk to you first, I don't know if I would. How much did you make on this trade, KW? Okay. How many people traded real money this morning? and made money on this trade. James Johnson. Okay. Dorian Davis. Kurt, let's try Kurt. Kurt, do you have a microphone and a headset? Let's see if we can unmute him. Hello, Kurt. Good morning. Can you hear me? Nope, I don't think so. Okay. How about Dorian Davis, brand new to the room this morning? Do you have a microphone and a headset? Can you raise your hand? Let's unmute her and see what she says. Hello, Dorian, can you hear me? So our line of defense is very weak. Until you get your papers together and get yourself, you know, some strong estate plan and stuff, She's talking to somebody else. Okay, how about Ann Long? Would you like to sign in? Okay. Hey, good morning, Ann. How you doing? Hi, good morning. Glad you had a great weekend. <laughs> Me too. 
That was great, that trade. Caught it, um, didn't have a limit order in, just caught it on a market order going through, going through 61 mm -hmm. and got filled at 60.50 and got out at 58.50. So that was great. Appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Sometimes it runs so fast that, uh, you know, once it hits the preferred in, I sometimes want to have a limit order in, but on these moves, it goes without me if I don't quit get in, if I don't know where to put the limit order. Because it could have bounced off of 61, so I never had it in ahead of time. That's always a tough one for me. And you're not alone. You're not alone. It comes with a lot of experience knowing when to put a limit order in and when to put a market order in. You put a limit order in, the price gaps over you, you know, you're left with nothing. And then you have a fast moving bar to the downside and, you know, maybe you're going to chase the trade. So it's, it's always, go ahead. Sorry. No, I just said it's not, no, I apologize. I just said it's it's something that I need the experience to learn when to do it and when not to do it. Right. But It'll I mean, okay. And has been through the executive mentorship program and uh, when she came in here, she she knew about trading and had studied trading, but she had no idea that you could really one person could do this. And so she does it on a regular basis, a previous school teacher, probably some of the best people that could turn out to be traders because it, it, it's so simple when you break it down into a structured, learnable, repeatable process. I guess it's like teaching. Very much so. Very much so. I taught 13 and 14-year-olds, and you really had to break it down into, you know, keep, it, keep them interested, but break it down into those basic levels at any level of teaching. That you're, you're exactly right, and it's helped, uh, but I never had any idea of, of how to trade, you know, systematically mm -hmm. um, until I came to you. And um, my trading has improved immensely, and I thank you. You're welcome. We're glad to have you, you know. So thanks again for everything and have yourself a great day out there and all the best to the rest of your trading today. You too. Adrian, anything you want to add before we cut the tape? Okay. So we'll finish it up here. And uh, right now, prices have obviously traded back up from the target area for the second leg, or if you were a long-term holder where you got in and where you were looking to get out based on what I was talking about at that time. And so we'll pick it up on the next high probability trade for Monday. September 29, 2014 at 9.09 a.m. This is Jeff Killian for the Inside Technician and our live trading room. We'll see you on the next profitable trade. So once again, now at 9.35 a.m. on market opening, although the 1955-75 preferred entry was hit, never closed at in real time, we did not have the confirmation from the MFI, the short-term institutional tracker the money flow index to be clear to be short because of the non-trend line violation to the downside and because of it we've kept everyone in this trading room out of a bad trade to the downside where most traders once again were in at 5575 we did not get the close the final confirmation didn't come through although the volume was there and once again after making substantial cash this morning for everyone kept all of you out of a bad trade and possibly giving some of that money back. That is the real value of a trading room, not just identifying the high probability trades, it's staying away from the bad trades. 9.36 a.m. off tape, once again, Monday, September 29th, 2014.